Alrighty, so tonight is the first time that I try flotation therapy, which is something I'm sure some of you haven't heard of before, and it's something I only heard of about a week ago or so. Flotation therapy is what most people call uh, the psychedelic that doesn't require a drug, and I'll explain why. I'm going to a local spa in Columbia, Maryland, where they will have a flotation tank. It's supposed to be one tank that can just fit my body in it, they fill it up with an inch and a half of water and 800 pounds of Epsom salt. The purpose of the Epsom salt is so that I, you know, float in the flotation tank. And I lay there for an hour or so. Apparently when I'm laying there, that will be the first time since my conception that I will be without any sight, sound, and feeling of gravity on my body. Um, so laying there in the darkness, you know, I could see why. <laughs> People would go crazy. I'm very, very nervous for this experience. I recently saw that the Golden State Warriors did it because it helps heal their, their body. So I'm looking forward to seeing how this will go. I hope I don't go nuts inside the tank. But what can I say? Uh, I'm looking forward to this experience and I can't wait to share with you guys what the results are. Wish me luck. So imagine forgetting about your body for an hour and then waking up to a whole new appreciation for what you are as a human. <laughs> that was flotation therapy for me. At the very beginning, I was nervous. I'll be honest, I was very nervous. So Egan, you went back, cleaned it out. After Egan had left, I had declothed, I climbed in and there were two things that I noticed. When I stepped into the water, the first thing I noticed was that I didn't feel anything because the water was exactly my body temperature, which was surprising to me. Because anytime I've taken a shower or a bath, you know, I'm trying to work with the temperature uh, so that it could be just perfect, just warm enough for me to be comfortable in the shower. The second thing I noticed is that when I went to sit down, my butt didn't touch the bottom. The water was only three and a half inches deep so you think that like, okay, obviously when you go to sit, your butt's going to touch it, but it just swooped right up. And I was just pretty much automatically on my back, just floating. The tank was not what I expected. I thought it was going to be like a solo thing, like a pod that I would climb into. But this was like a 70 square foot pool. There was plenty of space for any of you that are claustrophobic. There was no concerns with that whatsoever. So once the auto cleaning cycle was over, I, I, I was laying there. I was completely still, all the lights went out, and I couldn't hear a thing. I couldn't see anything, because my eyes were closed, and even when I opened my eyes, it was pitch black. I felt like I would have been scared in this moment. But for some reason, there was this sense of calmness about the entire situation. It's one thing going in knowing what you're going to experience, but it's another thing to experience it. I was just calm. The only thing that I was nervous about in the beginning was trying to regulate my breathing because when you're laying in water, it's a little bit harder to breathe on your lungs, I suppose, because of the water pressure on the outside of your body. But within the first five minutes, I was completely under control and there was no problem with that whatsoever. I would naturally think that in order to perceive things, you need all of your senses. What I experienced in that float tank was that I felt as though my perception of my life and my being, my body and my mind and that the relationship between the two, it's completely reimagined now. Because for this hour or so, I, I completely forgot that I had a body and it was just my mind. And I was going from thought to thought, just, I, was, I felt as though I was almost reliving memories in the clearest way possible that I have ever imagined before. I was imagining different things in my childhood. I was thinking about past relationships. I was thinking about my future and everything in between. And none of it was as scary or anxiety provoking as one would imagine. You could literally lay there for an hour or two hours, no problem. And that's what happened is that I feel like time went by like that. When the, when the lights came back on to indicate that my time was up, I was kind of surprised. And 
the first thing that I did, and I'll never forget it, to push myself up to get out of the tank, I put my hand down on the bottom of the tub to push out. And I was like, man, this is my bicep. Like, that's pretty cool that I have that like, at my disposal. Like, I'm in a young body. Like, this is, this is really nice. And I felt my chest and my thighs. And I realized it was almost like I hit a reset button on how I perceive my, my body. And I signed up for two more immediately. So I highly recommend flotation therapy to anybody, even if you're claustrophobic. I promise that it's more spaced out than you imagine. And you kind of gain a new trust for yourself when you can go into a situation like that when it's just your mind and your thoughts don't seem to get out of control, that you can actually become calmer when you allow your mind to just run free. So thank you so much for watching my video. I really hope that you guys take advantage of flotation therapy sometime soon. Thanks.